Greta. Shiruka stepped back and looked back up at her work. She, Sheena, and Kano had decided to spend today with Izuku, giving him a new wardrobe. Currently, Izuku was dressed in black dress pants, with a black dress sleeveless vest, and a white undershirt underneath it. He also wore a pair of snazzy black shoes, black gloves, and a tie. Hmm. This looks really good, girls. Izuka said as he looked at himself in the mirror. Maybe I should wear stuff like this more often? Once again, our work is nothing but top-notch. Kano boasted proudly. Makes me wish there was a mother figure to work on. Suddenly, an idea popped up in Shiruku's head. Oh yes, I'd love to have a mother to dress up and do makeup on. That would be the best. Hmm. Sheena thought about it. Sure she'd done a bit of makeup for Izuku, but with a mother, she'd be able to do so much more. Maybe they could even dress up as idols and sing together. The thought made her smile. Yeah, that'd be great. Izuka frowned, seeing his kids dissatisfied. A mother, huh? Shiruka smirked. That's right, now call Achiko. After all, who else would you ask to take the role of our mother? Actually, Izuka said, getting an idea of his own. I know a way we can do that. Huh? Shiruka looked at him confused. What do you mean? X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X The three girls looked up in shock, their mouths hanging open. So, what do you think? Standing before them was a zuku but not the Izuku they were used to. Seeing as they wanted a mother to play with, Izuku came up with one conclusion. Just become a mom. Using the fractals, Izuku was easily able to change his gender whenever he pleased, and then change it back again. Although he didn't expect his female form to be such a departure from his male one, their height barely changed, but their overall body structure was almost completely different. Far more curvy. What's more, they now sported a long head of curly green hair, which framed a rather cute face. Although the most notable change was very obviously their chest, as their now female body sported a very generously sized pair of breasts. Figures mom and dad's jeans favored girls. Izuka thought with a sigh. Although Izuku was definitely more conventionally attractive this way, it did come with the downside of them being very uncomfortable, particularly in the chest area. Seriously, how do women walk around with these? And why would they want them to be so big? Meanwhile, the girls were just trying to process what they were looking for. Kano and Sheena were the first to recover huge smiles crawling up their faces. Wow, you look amazing Mr. Midoriya. Sheena said, already thinking of what makeup to use. Oh, what lovely hair. I have to say you wear it far better in this form than your natural one. Kano said excitedly. Shiruku, let's get out some of our dresses and start resizing them.
We can't let this opportunity go. Yes, yeah, sure, let's go. Shiruka shrugged. This hadn't gone at all like she thought, but screw it. This would still be fun. X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X X Kiba opened the door to Shiruka's room, forgetting to knock as she entered. Shiruka sorry to bother you dear sister, but my dress was to dash. Immediately Kiba froze, when she saw what the other three girls had just finished working on. Oh, Kiba. Perfect. What do you think of our work? Kano asked. Kiba saw in front of her, the female form of her father, now all dolled up by his three daughters. The main draw was the long red dress, with two slits down the side that exposed her legs. Thankfully he'd been spared the torture of heels, although the red shoes he had been forced to wear were still rather uncomfortable. Their face had been dolled up a bit, making it seem brighter, as well as adding crimson red lipstick to their lips. Lastly, their hair had been brushed and styled into sparkling emerald locks. Ah, was all Kiba could say, her brain struggling to process what she was seeing. Hmm, is that a good stun silence or a bad stun silence? Sheena asked as she tried to interpret Kiba's reaction. I think she's more confused than anything, Shiruka said. Caretaker, what is this? Kiba eventually managed to articulate. Well the girls wanted a mom to play with, so I decided to do this, Izuku explained. Of course you did. Kiba deadpan. That's such a you thing to do caretaker. Although I must admit you do look very lovely. Not that you didn't look wonderful as a man, it's just your choice of clothes never did you any favors. I'm aware. Izuka chuckled. Well, I'll be back later when you're done. Kiba turned around to leave. But suddenly Izuku scooped her up and brought her into a hug. H H huh? Sorry, I wanted to see what hugging you would be like this, Izuku said, holding Kiba against their chest. It's pretty strange. It feels like I'm being hugged by a pillow. Kiba thought, her face bright red. She didn't hate it. But man was it strange. She wanted to voice an objection, but also she didn't. All right, I'll let you go now, Izuka said, putting the now once again stunned and confused Kiba down. All right. Kiba nodded as she stumbled out of the room. H have fun. Kiba left the room closing the door behind her. So that's what hugging a mom is like. Maybe I should spend more time with Achiko. XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
Sheena gasped, her eyes sparkling. You'd be great on stage. Please God no. Izuka thought, thoroughly embarrassed. It had been a while since he'd been this red. W.L. I mean I can't really dance or sing so I doubt anyone would want to see that. Don't worry, I've got that covered, Sheena said. Then the door opened and Mina came in. Hey Sheena, you said you wanted me to help you with something. The moment Mina locked eyes on Izuku, she froze, her brain took a few seconds to process this, and then a giant, shit-eating grin crawled up her face. Looking good boss. Nice skirt. Izuka's face somehow turned redder. XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
Particularly, her eyes would float down to the two head-sized things on his chest. Meanwhile, Mina was smirking, standing behind Achako. You know his eyes are a bit higher, right? Ah, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I swear I was just in shock. Achako shouted, her face somehow redder than Azuku's. Trust me it's taking a lot of restraint for me not to pay attention to them as well, Izuku admitted bashfully. I just hope none of the kids ask me to take this form again. Although if they do I could probably get used to it with time. You really will do anything for your kids, huh? Achiko said with a smile. Well, what else was I supposed to do? I couldn't just leave them wanting. Izuku mused with a frown. And it's not like I'm getting a spouse anytime soon. So if they want a mother this is my only option. Achiko suddenly went into deep thought. Anytime soon. Does that mean he plans on getting a wife eventually? I mean I guess that would be best for the kids. And it's not like it would be hard for him. There are plenty of girls who'd love to be his wife. Achiko suddenly felt a twinge of intense annoyance, bordering on anger. W was that just jealousy? Why would I be jealous? There's no reason. Nope. 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 Discontinuing this train of thought. Mina sighed and shook her head. Hey boss, mind if I speak with Achiko for a sec? Of course not. I'll just be in another room for a second. I need to make a call. Izuka said, getting up and walking towards his bedroom. I'll be back in a minute, tell me if you need more time. With that Izuka left the room, leaving Mina and Achiko alone. Mina sighed, and jumped over the couch, sitting next to Achiko. Alright. Putting all the jokes, and all the teasing aside. What do you want your relationship with Midori to be? I told you I, I just want us to be good friends. Achiko said, looking away for a second. Okay, so you wouldn't mind if Azuka started screwing some rando? Mina asked, raising an eyebrow. And there it was again, that twinge of intense emotion, so tangible it was almost like she got slapped, forcing a very ugly scowl on her face for a second before Achiko shook her head and tried to force her expression back into a neutral state. And you see right there, that was jealousy, it literally couldn't be any more obvious. Mina pointed out. You know what that feeling is. And there's really only one reason you could be feeling it. Unless you're really, weirdly invested in Midori's purity. Be honest with yourself for a second. Ugh. Fine. I may, like Izuku. In that way, just a bit. Achiko said, her face completely red. Happy? Not until you are, Mina said, giving her a serious look. So now we know how you feel. Next up, why were you denying your feelings? Did you really think that keeping everything bottled up was a good idea? because that makes things complicated. Achiko shouted out in frustration, more at herself than at Mina, clutching the sides of her head. 
Me and Izuku are too busy to worry about stuff like this. So you think Midori should take less time to enjoy life so he can work more? Mina asked sarcastically. What? No, that's not. Achiko tried to find a way to rephrase what she said, but couldn't. What she just said was pretty much that. And you're too busy? You come here to relax and play with the kids at least once a week. And at most, you just stay here for a week? Mina pointed out. Any of the time you spend with him could be a date, and it'd be less awkward because the two of you are skirting around your feelings. How do you even know he likes me like that, huh? Achiko argued before looking down at herself. I mean, I'm not exactly the perfect girl. I've got all these scars, and my face is chubby, and I'm just not as good as the other girls. I mean look at Momo. Heck, look at Izuku right now. Okay, right now. Izuk is prettier than a lot of girls, which is hilarious, but beside the point. Mina snickered. Achiko, I could go on about how pretty you are. And I'm pretty sure Midori's the type of person to think scars are cool so that's probably working in your favor. But none of that matters. Because do you really think Midoriya, I adopted a 40-foot Hydra and I love him dearly, Izuku is gonna care too much about appearances? I mean, come on. I know there are a lot of guys who say they care more about personality, but with Midoriya, I truly believe he could care less about what you look like. He likes you for you. You were the first person to accept him. Whenever he needs help or he gets hurt, or there's a problem with the kids, you come running as soon as you find out. The kids love you, and some of them are already calling you mom. That's why I'm so confident about Midori liking you. Achiko thought about that. She wanted to say that anyone would do that, but that's not really the case. It's not like Izuku's staff or even Mina herself didn't support Izuku, but not in the way she did. And the kids didn't call any other girl's mom. Let me tell you this. Midori's not gonna make the first move. Mina told her. He still hates himself too much. He wouldn't date any girl he likes because he doesn't think he's good enough. Or he thinks he's going to bother you. Or some other stupid reason. So if you want things to move forward, you gotta do it yourself. So, do you like spending time with Marodi? Yeah. Achiko sheepishly admitted. Do you wish you could do that without having to hide any feelings or anything like that? Mina asked. Yes. Achiko's face continued to turn red, as she could see very clearly where this was going. Do you hate the idea of being closer to him? Mina continued. Do you hate the idea of making out, and cuddling, and actually being these kids' moms? Achiko thought about that, somehow her face turning even redder as she imagined a life like that. I, I, I don't, I don't, hate it, I actually kinda, maybe, kinda like it. Then go for it. Mina encouraged her. 
We only live for so long, you know. Why waste your time with all the angst when you could just move on to the good parts? Look, I'm not asking you to confess right here right now. I just want you to seriously think about it and not make up any nonsense excuses. Okay, when did you get this smart? Achako pouted. What can I say? I'm a people person. Mina shrugged.